One of the blessings of learning Greek in the modern day age is that we get to take advantage of technology. However, technology is not everybody's cup of tea, not everybody wants to be involved in using the technology, so I wanted to give you just a bit of a heads up on the kind of ways that technology does help us, why we at Biblical Mastery Academy particularly want to encourage the use of technology, and how to sort of adjust your mindset accordingly. So, let's talk about technology generally. Bear in mind, of course, that as we start, I'm talking about this as somebody who's encouraging you to learn Biblical Greek and to use the technology for that very reason. Now for some people the technology just is one more thing to learn which means that this is too hard, particularly if you're a little older or if you find technology particularly challenging. This can be difficult, but it is worth your while to invest the time to learn how to use the technology and in this video I want to explain why. So let's get into it. First of all, let's just mention that before technology came along, and before we, what we think of technology came along, the way to learn a language was really very, very cumbersome. For instance, if you go back 500 years to the reformers and people around that age who wanted to learn Greek, there weren't even Greek grammars available at that stage. So they would have to get a Greek text and they would have to learn it and look at words against an English or whatever language it was that they understood and they would compare and then they'd work out you know, bit by bit, how to, how one word related to another and so on. Now, today, to even think about doing something like that is incredibly challenging. That is just so time consuming. And so today we live in an age where we have huge volumes of technology available to us, including and perhaps starting with grammars. Now, you might say, well, we've got a whole bunch of grammars and we're releasing another one every year or two, every two, you know, two a year kind of thing on average. So why do we need more grammars? Well, the reality is that people learn differently and different grammars can help different people learn in a way that is suitable for them. And if you are interested in reading Greek grammars, then I want to recommend to you my top 10 list of grammars, uh, which you'll find a link to just up here. And I'll put a link in the description for, below for that as well. So grammars themselves are a form of technology that are really helpful for helping us learn because they break the concepts down into small bite-sized pieces and sequence them in a logical order to allow you to take in the language without having to go and do that painstaking work of word by word comparison, muddling your way through endings and things like that. Okay. It also means that we get, you know, a simplified approach to vocabulary. So grammars themselves generally work out, here's the vocabulary you need to learn if you're going to read the New Testament and Greek. And so that means then that you don't have to go through sifting through all of the New Testament, if that's what you want to read, and look for the most common words. Somebody's already done that for you and arranged it in a particular order, which leads me then to learning vocabulary. Let's say you go back a hundred years to so maybe you're learning with Machen who gives you some vocabulary. How are you going to learn the vocabulary? Well, in the old days, you would probably, at least a hundred years ago, you might get some three by five cards and you would write the vocab on one side and then the gloss on the other, and you'd carry those around with you. Today, we use technology. We just grab a mobile device and we use an app, particularly in Biblical Mastery Academy, called Flashcards Deluxe, which is a great tool for taking your vocabulary with you on the, on the go, wherever you happen to have your mobile phone, which means that whenever you're waiting in a line, you can review all your vocabulary. And that's really the big difference. There's a couple of things that is different between using a mobile device with something like Flashcards Deluxe versus using paper flashcards. And that is, first of all, scale. Right? If you're going to learn all the words that occur 50 times or more, well, that's only 330 words. That's pretty achievable with, you know, flashcards, uh, with pieces of paper and card and 3 by 5 cards and so on. But if you're going to learn 1,000 words or 2,000 words or all of the New Testament words, which is what we do in Biblical Mastery Academy, then you're going to need something that's going to scale with you. And that's what Flashcards Deluxe does. And it scales in two ways. First, you don't have to carry a stack of cards this tall around with you in your pocket or even work out which ones you need to take with you to review because you're rusty on those ones and not on the other ones. Flashcards Deluxe does all of that for you and helps you by making sure that you are reviewing only the cards that you need to review right now. It's got what's called space repetition, which means that when you learn a word, you get it right, it increases the time automatically before it shows that word to you again, or reduces the time if you get it wrong. Which again means you don't have to think about which words do I need to review, nor do you need to work on a deck by deck basis. It will work on a word by word basis, which means some of those words are going to be really easy to memorize. And that's the benefit of technology. You just simply can't do this with flashcards, with paper flashcards, three by five cards, 
And certainly by writing the words out repeatedly, yeah, you can do that, but it's not going to scale to more than a few hundred words at best. And this allows us, using technology, allows us to scale to learn a lot more vocabulary a lot more quickly, which is a huge benefit of using the technology. Another benefit that comes with grammars is actually the breaking down of the grammar into paradigms. Paradigms are one of those things that that most students today curse because they're difficult to memorize. We have a pretty simple system and we give you four steps for memorizing these paradigms. And also the, the way it's worked now is that over time, grammarians have reduced the number of paradigms down to just a small number created in a, in, in a very useful and creative way so that you can just learn these few paradigms and you can master all of the Greek grammar without too much challenge. Again, this is a benefit of modern grammars and seeing the progression of grammars over time. And so one of the things about paradigms is that they break all that grammar down and put it into something simple like a single chart or two charts or whatever it happens to be. In Biblical Mastery Academy, we use two charts for all indicative verbs and one chart for participles. Makes it much simpler to learn how all those elements come together. So we want to encourage you, again, paradigms, don't think of them as a curse, think of them as a blessing because otherwise you have to work out all those exceptions and all those different endings on your own and it just gets really, really difficult. So rather than thinking of paradigms as a pain in the neck, this is actually a technological innovation. And then you can just write them out, repeat them over and over, even create flashcards around your paradigms and learn them really, really easily. So paradigms are also a modern invention that make learning grammar a lot easier. And that brings us then to the last element which technology really does help with and that is with passing practice. Again, in the old days, the only way you could ever practice your passing was if someone gave you an exam, or perhaps if you were to look at a word and try and work out what's going on. But today we have great little tools, passing apps, that will actually put a word in front of you and ask you, what is this word, what does it mean, and how would you translate it? And you can then simply enter your answer and it will tell you if you got it right or wrong and help you to figure out how, you know, what you're learning and what you've missed and help you to get that right. And so by using a tool like Pass Greek or one of the other passing tools, and I'll leave a list of all my the reviews I did recently up here, uh, by using a passing tool like this, it can greatly speed up your recognition of different forms in the Greek New Testament and help you get to that reading stage much, much faster. So the key thing I want to impress upon you here is that when we, particularly at Biblical Mastery Academy, encourage you to use the technology and use certain tools, and yes, some of these tools are a little bit challenging to use, but there's a good reason why we encourage the use, and there's going to be a cost of not using them. Specifically, you're not going to scale your vocabulary, you're going to go slower through your paradigms, you're not going to be learning the passing as quickly, and so on and so forth. So use the technology and recognize the benefits from come from it. Embrace the challenge that sometimes the technology creates and really use it to move your language, your knowledge of the language forward. If you want help with these things, you're welcome to join the community membership inside Biblical Mastery Academy. It's just $25 a month. You can join our office hours call and we can talk through with you there how to set up the technology and get things underway. To find out more about that, click on the link below in the description and we'll get you underway as quickly as we can. Before I go, I wanna ask you, what technological tools have you used to learn Biblical Greek? Leave a comment in the comment section below and I look forward to hearing from you there and maybe I can learn some technology that you've found useful and then encourage others to use that as well. So leave a comment in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks again for watching. Keep taking. Remember, it's all about small, consistent steps toward mastery and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you there.